What's up? It's Bob from Home Cook Basics. Thanks for coming back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about how to cut up a watermelon. I'm really excited about this one. It's a big summer favorite for everybody. Kids love it. It's, you know, when you get this refrigerated, it's cool, refreshing. Let's jump right into how to cut it for wedges and how to cut up cubes. All right, so we're gonna cut this into slices and into chunks. So like the chunks that you might use for say a fruit salad. So I'm gonna cut it in half and use both sides to demonstrate. If you're cutting it all one way, you wouldn't have to do the cut in half. One little trick I have for you is you can put it up like this and cut a flat spot on one side, kind of like this. It doesn't have to be really big, but just enough so you have a flat spot like this. And then what we're going to be able to do is it's going to make it a lot more stable when we cut the ends off and in the middle. So now you got something really solid here to work with and it'll, it'll be a lot easier. So we cut that off, then we're going to cut off each end right here. So when you cut these ends off, there's a little bit here left and you can scoop it out if you, not, if you want, but really there's not much left here. And then we're going to go ahead and spin it and we're going to cut that other side off just the same way. So another thing to think about, it's really important to have a sharp knife. I use a chef knife for this, but you can kind of, it kind of can wedge and cause pressure there, so it's not so easy. If you rather have, um, if you rather use like a bread knife, it's serrated and you kind of saw through, it might be easier for you. So try it out and see what's easier for you. All right, so now that we cut those ends off, I'm going to go ahead and cut it right down the middle. You're going to kind of work your knife around. And, you know, depending on how big it is, you might have to turn it. But that flat spot really helped us out. And that gives us two halves just like that. All right, so I'm going to put one aside for a minute, and then we're going to cut this one up into the wedges. So I'm going to cut right through the middle here to give ourselves two more halves, okay? Real simple like that. Now using that flat spot that we created, just keep it on that flat spot and we're just gonna cut slices. You're gonna go for probably like an inch thick. Real simple and easy. Now if you had a really big watermelon, you could, um, now if you had a really big watermelon, you could cut it again and you have four quarters out of that. And then these, these wouldn't be so big. But as you can see, it makes a perfect slice for eating. So then go ahead, take your other half, put it on the flatter side if it's easier this way. And then go ahead and just cut your half inch to one inch slices to get those perfect wedges that everybody enjoys, especially during the summer. And you're out by the barbecue. All right, now we'll just go over how we're gonna chunk this up. I like to throw the open side down, it just makes it easier. And then all we're gonna simply do is we're gonna cut off the rind around the watermelon. Kind of work your knife all the way around. If you have a boning knife, this can be a little bit easier. Just continue to cut it all the way around. Any of those little white bits, you want to still get those off too because it just wasn't, doesn't taste as good. So just work all those off. And any part that's on the bottom. Now we completely removed the rind from the watermelon. Now what we're going to do is cut slices as thick as you want the chunks. So if you want like one inch, I'm just going to cut it through about one inch thick. All the way through the watermelon. Then just grab some of those. You can put them all to one side here. Stack them if you like, or just do them individually. And now we're just gonna cut them this direction. Get 
Give them another turn, and then you're just going to cut your chunks. And now your watermelon has complete chunks for your next uh, fruit salad. So I'll just show you that real, real quick again. So grab these all off your fruit salad, or whatever you're using them for. You know, the, the, re the reason this is a lot easier is when you kind of peel that rind off that way, you're not trying to do the rind on every little piece. So go ahead and stack these up. We're going to slice it again, one inch thick. And after you turn, you're just making the chunks on the other side. And then you just make, it just makes perfect little chunks. Also, go ahead and check out how to cut a cantaloupe. It's a great video, a few little tricks in there for cutting your cantaloupe. And welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please subscribe down below. And I hope to see you next time on Home Cook Basics.